this is the most um, important thing, right? I was telling someone in the morning also that you have to be everything. You have to be reactive, proactive. I don't know what these management terms are. I call it all active. You just got to go all out. So what I do and a lot of my team members do is we don different avatars. If you see me here, I'm wearing this pirate cap. I don't think you can see me. If you look at the top of the Twitter uh, thing, I have this pirate patch and that's like a gaming CEO guy. And I write to every consumer that tweets about a game and I find out what's going on. Why do you like it? People complain. People say, what's going on? You know, I can't play this game anymore. I'm stuck at level 22. So it's a very deep, deep involvement of content, idea, um, you know, technology. And at least in the IT space, let's come back to that subject again. IT enables you to eavesdrop. IT enables you to sniff. IT enables you to respond. IT enables you to inspire. And IT enables you to completely keep control of what's going on. There's no industry in the world that I know. I used to make socks, and as I said before, that I could make out every hour what is the position of my content. How is it moving? You know, it's like a global dashboard in front of you. And that is the beauty of IT and technology. So we are selling something here, and if you're not reactive, forget being, I mean, reactive is meant for the dinosaurs. If you're not proactive, then you're, you're, you're a fool. So I think that the, the, the concept is in your mind, you've got to be able to take things around and really be able to respond to them rather than that old classical thing that we'll send it to this guy who will tell us what to do. There is no this guy. That guy is you. And you've got to take control right on the spot. So there's a lot of nimbleness if you're going to be an IT guy because the IT stroke technology space just completely, you know, it, it travels at 580, 600 miles an hour and you can't be, you know, thinking of which turn to take. You've got to take it before it hits you. So... Long story, we hit number one in the world. And Parking Frenzy was the number one game. And Parking Fren Frenzy was the number one app. Uh, and this was June 2012. So the first company ever to do that, uh, we had about, uh, at least in India, from India, sorry. Um, statistically speaking, as I speak today, we've had 1.5 crore people who've downloaded Parking Frenzy. In terms of econo economic value, that's about... $10 million worth of asset being built. It's about 55 crores. But I want you to look at one thing that probably has still not been spotted here. In, it's in this PPD. The way I define the world is I define it as USA. And this is a really important point I want to make. Everybody who I meet says, I'm going to do this in India, I'm going to do this in Mumbai. And I say, you're dead. You're going to be like smashed. You've got to work against the US if you're looking at IT. If you're competing for an iStore app or an Android app, you have to